I am happy with that as we stand and now I'm gonna unmask the whole thing and see what we produced over the last couple of hours. And here we are. Obviously the whole thing needs to be clear coated because at the moment it's got a horrible reflection. Each paint layer reflects the paint differently. Um, the paint, the, the light differently, sorry. But you can you can see the um, the idea behind it and how it's supposed to look like. And uh, we got a couple of hours of work and we've got it down to what I think is a pretty good result. <clears throat> well, you tell me. You tell me what you think about it. But I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I was talking about paint creep and how that tape is good with uh, paint creep. Uh, the paint is only as good as you are and I obviously made a couple of fuck ups over here. Uh, this is a very profound one over here. Um, it's not the end of the world. I made a mistake. I probably didn't press the tape down hard enough over here or I laid down too wet. Uh, the candy paint, so you can see the the red bled towards the um, white here, white and blue uh, are the layer. So it, that's called a paint creep. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I know the surface underneath was prepared very well. So what I have here is my uh, gray scotch pad, and what I'm gonna do is just gonna go very wow, well, very gently across this and rub in that layer of top of of that blue white thing and when it's gone I stop and this is disappeared same over here you can see that paint creep is quite profound so I'm gonna rub it very gently and it just where are we it just disappears when we're gonna actually focus on it sorry guys one more band again right you got some main paint creep over here and there's a very profound one here again rub it it disappears and then you stop and this guy over here as well I rub it until it disappears and it does disappear you stop you got fade the paint clip all this corner obviously I must have I must have just rushed it or just laid down too heavy I, I can't remember what happened you know shit happens you know mistake happens and everybody Everybody makes mistakes. We are human, we're not machine. Shit like this happens. But I wait for of correcting it, you know. I mean if that wasn't coming off this easily, I would probably mask it off again. And I would spray that white and blue on top of it. It wouldn't be the ideal ideal situation. But like this. Well I'm happy with that. You can't see it anymore. If you know I I'll, I'll go again for the whole artwork. And if I see any more, I'll use my Good mate, uh, scotch right over here, and I make sure it disappears. But other than that, this is a pretty good job. Well, I think so anyway. You guys prove me wrong. Again, guys, not a very challenging artwork, um, artistically wise, but it's a challenging um, complexity wise. It's taken a lot of time to mask it and mask it again and unmask it and fuck about and and doing all that shit with it. So, uh. I'm quite happy with the outcome. Uh, this is nearly done. There are a few more tiny little um, imperfections I need to uh, I need to address. Like um, this one over here. You can see this little scratch down there. I whacked it somewhere, or I just rested against something, and that little guy over here appeared. So I need to spray some white on top of it, and then blend in blue and white. But things like this happens, you know. I just wasn't careful, only myself to blame. Anyway, the front panel is done. Now I need to take care of this bad boy. And when I say this bad boy, I mean this bad boy. I basically need to replicate everything I've done here to this part. And there's probably four times as much to do. But you know what? Gotta be done. I'm not going to bore you with the whole process, because you've seen it over there. I'll show you when it's ready. And this is how we're looking completed. Well, completed without the clear coat anyway. And as far as the clear coating goes, I'm doing something different as well. Um, that's coming next, by the way. 
uh, we're gonna use matte finish completely matte clear coat and why matte clear coat and not a gloss one well it's just something different again I've been playing with matte clear for a few weeks now and I've got pretty decent results I think I like the finish I think it's gonna go well with uh, that kind of artwork anyway the main challenge with the matte clear coat is you can't polish out any imperfections so we need to make sure we're absolutely bang on because you just can't polish matte finish <laughs> simple as that right let's get it ready and I'll show you when it's finished and there she is guys the beast itself is ready now what do you think all the effects we've been talking about for the last two videos the two parts as you can see they applied here in action and it is matte clear coated which um, kind of gives this nice uniform effect but it's not shining in your face so you can actually see the artwork and not everything reflecting around it um, I'm becoming a fan of that matte clear coat uh, I had a good play with it and I kind of learned how to use it I mean it is a straightforward you know clear coat see and you lay it exactly the same way but the only difference is you don't polish it obviously you don't polish it um, so you need to make sure you run it without any imperfections and I think I think I've done a decent job over here what do you think guys let me know in the comments below and here it is from a different angle from the other side which is more or less the same obviously the ribs are random and and the muscle fibers running are also kind of random but they they kind of do much the other end um, in a way I can't show you two sides at the same time but you've got the idea These are side panels, they are also ready and have been clear coated in the same manner, matte clear coat. Um, there's another one and they go together with the nose cone, the headlight unit or whatever you want to name it. I didn't put them together now because they are pretty much ready for collection so I dismantled it. And I've also dismantled it for clear coating, I, I kept it together um, so the design lines up. Uh, as you can see this one goes on the bottom there so design lines up perfectly well and I I airbrushed it with these pieces being bolted together so when that joint is over here I know it exactly matches um, the joint in, in that side, side panel and uh, same on the other end of this one when it reaches up it was put together when I was airbrushing it for obvious reasons you know so the artwork is lined up bang on Again, that matte clear coat kind of makes it everything uniform. Um, even though lights, I've got a few lights over here in the garage, you know, just for my work. Uh, so it reflects from it, but it doesn't blind you. You don't see everything, all the reflections around it. Um, you just see the artwork being uniform. And it's a, and it's a 2K hard as nails, you know. Um, so you should protect the bike on the drag strip doing 200 miles an hour, hopefully. So there we go guys, the uh, monster project is is ready. Um, it, was, it was a huge project, just the pure size of it, in my little garage, uh, taking a lot of room and a lot, and I mean a lot of hours of masking and uh, unmasking things and masking again and making sure everything is alright and as it should be. And I think the end result is uh, it's pretty cool, well I'm, I'm happy with it anyway. I said it before and I will mention it again, um, it is not my um, idea of an artwork, it's not even my style of an artwork, it's a replica of a bike that used to exist, uh, it was a slightly different model but the artwork was very much the same and um, Kev requested it to be uh, rebuilt and um, repainted more or less in the same manner, kind of with my twist to it, um, I'd like to think I made it, uh, I improved it in many ways you know but I hope I kept it uh, close enough to the original project. I think I I did not justice for this bike and for this artwork and for what it means to the owner. Um, I put a couple of pictures of the original base guys uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. So there it is guys, the beast is ready, ready for collection. While I was painting it I've been told the owner had some issues with an engine, uh, it wasn't running properly. I'm pretty sure it this has been rectified now and the bike is uh, fired up to life and it's uh, being tuned as we speak. 
So yet again guys, apologies, I don't have any footage of this on a running bike so you can see it in full glory but I promise you that once uh, this is collected, put back on a bike and this lockdown bullshit is over and they reopen the drug strips again I'm gonna take this little camera and by this I'm gonna take all of you to the drug strip to Santa Pod and we're gonna see this bad boy in action hopefully breaking a speed land record or at least UK national record, we'll see uh, in, and it would be very nice to see that artwork uh, doing 200 miles an hour plus on a drag strip. Definitely want to hear it running, definitely want to see this artwork going over 200 miles an hour, 100%. And I'll take you with me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed them free episodes, hope you like the artwork over there. And as always, thank you very much for watching, rock hard, have a beer, and we'll see you on a drag strip with this bad boy very soon.